Hi, we wanted to show you very quickly uh, Forty Manager Cloud. Um, and what you're seeing here is uh, the minimum set that you would need is the entitlement of 360 protection on all the gates uh, that needs management from Forty Manager Cloud, right? So, and the entitlements actually um, kind of show you all the details of everything that is included as part of uh, the 360 protection, uh, which is attached to uh, the 40 gates. Now let's take a look at, um, for example, uh, the 40 manager console itself, and you're seeing that um, you can do an SSO once you've logged in, in the uh, 40 cloud portal. And um, in the 40 Manager Cloud Portal, we are seeing that there is one device, which is Branch 161E, that is already being managed uh, by 40 Manager Cloud. And by the way, a 40 Manager Cloud has the same software as a 40 Manager VM, right? So the features are on par. And uh, you're seeing that once I get into um, this uh, 40, 40 gate 61E, which is a second branch, and we're trying to provision a new branch into 40 Manager Cloud, and it's as simple as one, two, three, just picking the management by 40 Manager Cloud. And then once we go back to the 40 Manager Cloud portal, uh, you gotta come back here to authorize that device. Um, and we're just showing you um, after authorization, uh, kind of um, the device would show up um, in device manager, very similar to how branch one is showing up and you now can see that. But you do see that policy package status is showing as never installed, right? So now let's look at um, how you can import uh, the policy from branch two and make it synchronous uh, to what is available in the manager cloud version as well. And you're seeing um, how we are doing that. It's as simple as uh, just clicking uh, one button and we also enable you to resolve any conflicts if you may. And uh, very quickly, you're able to see that we have two branches which are under management uh, by 40 manager and the configuration is synchronized between both the uh, 40 gates um, that are being managed as well as 40 manager cloud that is managing it. Now let's take a look at the SD-WAN use case, right? So in this particular scenario, we're saying that we have a golden config, um, which is as part of branch one, and this is the configuration, which is an SD-WAN template. Um, and we, plan to take that golden config and push that golden config to any other devices that are part of my SD-WAN network, right? So in this particular case, um, we have a branch two device, which is again under management. And you would see that um, we're going to push the SD-WAN config um, into branch two as well. So previously we've seen importing the branch two's um, policy. And now you're seeing how we are pushing the SD-WAN template into uh, branch two as well. Again, leveraging the same um, centralized management console that we have through 40 Manager Cloud. So here, um, what you're seeing is as part of uh, SD-WAN, um, we do show you um, some of the analytics um, which are like what is how are my interfaces doing um, what is the jitter and so forth um, now beyond that if you want detailed logging and analytics around that uh, we have uh, 40 analyzer which is a core part of 40 cloud which is again you don't need to log in into a different console you just click a button and it takes you um, to the uh, 40 analyzer cloud in 40 Analyzer Cloud, and you have similar reporting um, that we have um, within our on-prem version as well uh, that is available in the 40 Analyzer Cloud. So what you're seeing here is um, kind of 
because 40 manager manages um, all of this you can go to 40 manager very quickly and change your configuration on your devices to push the logs in real time to the 40 analyzer cloud and then as we go to log view um, you can very easily kind of look at all the logs that are generated by um, your gates in one place and you have the same templates i think almost 47 templates um, uh, can templates that are available here for reporting uh, the same thing that we are used to in the on-prem world as well